part here, Paranormal Investigation Explorers. Like I said, stated on the last video, I am really, really sorry that I've not been doing videos recently. My computer ended up dying on me and I couldn't get onto it whatsoever. I've had to restore everything. I'm in the process of saving my hard drive so I can get the videos out for you guys. There's about 10 videos and we got a lot of good stuff and really amazing locations. So hopefully I can get that footage back. If not, we will go back. So as always, I'm with Shadow Walkers. Hey guys. Can I say hello? His link will be in the description. So today guys, I, I don't know if you can tell with the starting location. We have been here before. We've come back, like we said to you guys, we will come back and do an investigation. So that's what we're here for today. We're gonna to have a little look around the building again, make sure nobody's here, and then do a full investigation. So with this location, uh, I got a couple of comments on it saying that because I did mention that no one's done this location before, and I got a couple of comments saying other paranormal teams or explore teams have done it before. When I've done my research, it's because other teams have named it the wrong thing, and that's why I couldn't find anything on it. So I do apologise for saying it's never been done before, and you might have seen other people's videos and it's been done. Uh, we have spoke to someone who actually is related to the person who owns this building, or used to own this building, and she mentioned that it was her grandfather, and they was happily married, so it's a bit of research for you guys. They was happily married. His wife passed away with cancer, unfortunately. And two to three months later, the man himself passed away. So no murders, no brutally deaths or anything's happened here. But that sometimes the case, it could be an easy, quick, silent death. And you do get a lot of uh, paranormal activity. You get a lot of spirits coming through in locations like this. So hopefully this location is one of them. If not, it'll just be another explore for you guys. So like I said, what we'll do, I'll turn you around and we'll go through the building. Right guys, so we are in the kitchen area. As you can tell from last time, what we'll do, we'll go through. Just make sure, whoa, that's been lowered. So someone's been here since we've been. Because if you remember, that, was all the way up at the top. You got my torch? No, your torch is on the oven. It's not, man. It's on. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, as always, we just go through the location, just make sure nobody's in here. So, like I said, if, you, if you've not seen the video, I did this last location, I will link it in the description. Like I say, I do apologise that I mentioned that nobody's done it before because uh, when I did the research, nothing was coming up on this location. Uh, but it was because uh, other teams have named it something else and I didn't know that that's what it was called. But then we did find out that it's not actually called that. Like I said, this time it is a bit darker in here. You can feel some sort of presence. And that's what I like about places like this, when you can feel something. We're going upstairs. He's just having a look through there, guys. So what we'll do, we'll start making our way up. Again, as always guys, it's red hot in this building. And I don't understand why it's so warm. Don't get me wrong, it is pretty warm outside. But it feels like there's like heating on. It is, it's, it's a weird one. I've never felt anything like this before. So there is the attic that we do want to get up into. Was that you that just knocked something? No, I didn't knock me. I just heard like a glass knock. I thought it was you, mate, banging around upstairs. No. Okay, guys, I just heard some knock from that. Do you not reckon? Hey, oh. it feels red hot, doesn't it? I know it's hot outside, but it feels like there's heating on. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do, guys, 
Shall we do it idiot or not? I'll just show the guys around. Yeah, you show the guys here. around, right? Right, guys, I don't know if you can see me all right here, but what we'll do, we will set up in this location, in this bedroom, and I'll get the EVP out. We'll do a couple of EVP sessions, and then we'll get the spirit box out, do a bit of spirit box, and I'll be back with you. Right, guys, we've got the EVP out. That's what we'll do. I don't know if you can see that because of the camera. We're going to find from the torch, mate, so yeah. I can turn this on. They're going to find from the seat, don't move anything, mate. We'll do that in a minute, we'll start the investigation first, we've not started anything yet. EVP on, in the abandoned house. If the owner, or the owner's wife, is here, can you come forward to this little device? Can you see the red light? Can you come forward to it? Come and talk to us. You mean no harm? Can you come and say hello to us? You don't need to be afraid of us. Use our energy. Use our phone energy. Use our energy in ours. Use the torchlight. Make it flash. Like, like Craig's just said, if you can't come forward to this red light and speak to us, if you've not got enough energy, make a little bang. Or make one of these lights flicker. Or, make, or touch one of us. Call that one there, we'll play it back now and take it uh, gloves off. Right guys, take the gloves off one second. Right. EVP on in the abandoned house. If the owner or the owner's wife is here, can you come forward to this little device? Can you see the red light? Can you come forward to it? Come and talk to us. Right, so we've got nothing on there, guys. I'll do one more EVP in this room and then we'll go right. to another part of the house. If there's anybody with us, can you come forward, please? Use all the energy you can. Use my phone, it's up there on the fireplace. My torch is next to it. Craig's got a torch. Make one of them lights flicker. I'll drain the battery to come forward. Murray, is that you that's here? Or David? You're moving, aren't you? No way. Yeah, it might have been when I turned. Oh. If it's you that's making this house so warm, can you make a bang or make it go cold? Or oh, that cupboard door just up there, you can move. Yeah, that's pretty light, mate, that's short. Now we'll call that one. Mm -hmm. If there's anybody with us, can you come forward? Like I said, we've already started, you need to give them energy. Yeah. Do we think the people don't come here that Use much, so we need to just let them know. The My torch is next to it. We'll try a different room in a minute, because nothing's happening in this one. Clean up, oh, it's gone a bit cold in this room now. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. That's gone a bit cold in this room. Murray, is that you that's here? Or David? That was like that static we've had in all the places. Yeah. Right, guys, I don't know if you heard that then. If you listen, there's some sort of like static. Murray. And then Craig says, was that me that's moving? Was it moving? But I moved my feet, I didn't touch anything on the EVP. No, you never met.
It could have been when I turned. If you shoot us making this house so warm, can you make a bang or make it go cold? Yeah, that's pretty light. Make that short. Right, guys, we have just come into the master bedroom. My light, I don't know if you can tell, but as you can see, it is really, really dull, and that's the brightest it can go. And then, like a minute ago, you could see us perfect, and now it's gone dull. So, there is something draining our batteries in here. So, what we'll do, we'll do an EVP in this room, and I'll come on this side shadow, yeah, so the people can see you. Like I said, just turn your torch off, right? We can see. Can you put your torch up there so it gives it a bit more light for us? Your light's brighter than mine, mate. And LED, mine's, mate. LED. Mine's LED. Look how dull mine's gone. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, it has gone really dull. Right. Oh. Yeah, Why is it not recording? Is it doing it again? There you go. Right. If that's you that's made the building go cold like I asked you to, or you're draining my torch battery, can you drain it a bit more and make it go off? Or make the lampshade move. Behind us. Just make that lampshade move this way. Come on, come forward to us. Come and talk to us. If that was you that we could hear breathing a little bit before, can you do it again? Come on, if that's you moving that lampshade, can you do it properly for us? Make it swim a bit more for me, please. Well, you can see that there in the corner, guys. Now, we'll see if we can't in there. Right, if that's you, that's me. Right, there you go guys, she, now you can see that lampshade. Can you see that lampshade there? Keeps moving every now and then. Right, so we've not got anything this time, the lampshade did move a little bit so what we'll do we'll do another one we'll see if anything comes through again come on if that's you can you make that lampshade move there the guys can see it on the video now can you do it again come on there's no wind in here come and make it move or come and speak to us That's it, come on, come forward. That string's moving. Yeah, keep it I don't know if you can see the string on the camera, guys. No, they can't. Yeah. Come on, give it a big push. My battery's, my, my torch is nearly dead now, so you're draining something. Come on, give it a big push. Yeah. Make yourself known. Really cold down there now, I've just got a cold shiver. Right, guys, I've just turned you around. We just heard a bang then. As you can see, turn your torch off a sec. Look at my torch now, guys. It is really, really dull. It's so something's really, really definitely cold. draining something. Put your torch back on, mate. Yeah. Right, we heard that bang over there, so what we'll do, we'll keep filming over there as we're saying stuff. What we'll do, guys, we'll play this back, see if we caught that bang. I hope it's got that bang. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, one sec. That's it. That's flickering. I'm not even holding Look, guys. As you can see, it's not touching the button whatsoever. I just heard breathing, listen. That's not really, really, really slight.
This is what was moving. Here's the band, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not expect that at all. Listen, listen, listen. It was like three big bangs. Come on, come forward. Right, guys. It's just whirling, guys, but that didn't happen. You jumped and I did not expect that at all. So, what we'll do, put the EVP in my bag, mate. Yep. Right, guys, so what we'll do, we'll put the EVP in my bag now. So our shadow's putting that in the bag. Right, look, before you forget, it's in the middle pocket here. That's <laughs> what we'll do, guys. We'll walk out here. I need my torch first. We'll walk out here and we'll shout stuff. Mate, why that from you? What? Why that from you? Right, we'll stay in here then. Come on! If that's you... Try and stop that from swinging. Try and stop it from swinging. Right guys, so as you can see, we'll stop it from swinging and we'll call out. My torch is nearly dead, mate. Come on. It might move a little bit, guys, but I can't get it dead on. If that's you, make it swing properly. If it's you that made that bang, do something again. Whoa. <laughs> that was your foot then, you sh me up. Sorry for swearing, guys. Come on, make this swing. Whoa. Uh, mate, I think we better leave this one <laughs> That door's just shut, guys. Just make sure nobody's outside. Mate, you're gonna have to come with your torch, can't see anything. So as you can see, guys, there's nobody in here and that door's just shut. Come on, did you just shut the door on us? Does that mean you want us to leave this bedroom? If you do, do something again and we'll leave the bedroom for you. I'm just glad that door back open back up then mate. Good job that lock weren't bust, well, guys. Fucking windows and get out that way. We can, mate, it's all boarded up. Oh, mate, we'll get out that fucking final way. That was final way. Come on, do something again. Make that swing or make the door shut. I thought you heard some of them. Come on, make that swing or make that door shut again. Oh, what, mate? Something's trying to go up here. Have you got everything out of that room, yeah? Look how dull my torch has gone, guys. It's like I've got no bloody torch on. Wow, what's up? I don't know. I've had a word for you, innit? To go out here. Have you got that? Was it that? No, it can't be. It was like something was rolling. Could have been that. Do you want us to leave? Is that what you're telling us? Right, we'll start heading out. If you want us to leave, do something again. David, is it you? Can you come and tell us? Mate, it's really cold down here, mate. It is cold, really down, here, cold down here, Mate, that door was open. Was it? Did you move that? I haven't touched the door, mate. Luke. What the fuck that swing at the top? Did you move that door? I haven't touched the door, mate. No, spit down now, you didn't move that door. I swear I've not moved that door, mate. Right, guys, so the door's just shut on its own. Right, David, is it you? Do you want us to leave? David? Do you want us to leave? If you do, that's still moving. If you want to, it's on freezing, mate. Mm. Come on, just come and talk to us. Tell us to leave. 
Was well, that you then? You alright? Yeah, mate, I'll be fine. Do you want to leave? Yeah, you got a drink on you? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you. <coughs> right, guys, so it's affecting Craig. What we'll do, we'll just start heading out here. Mate, what was that? Mate, I feel dead later, didn't That's I? That's moving again. I feel dead later, didn't Right, I? guys, what we're going to do, we're just going to get outside and I'll be back with you. <coughs> right, guys, so we have just got out of the building now. <laughs> Craig feels really, really sick and lightheaded. It's like something doesn't want us here, but... The thing is, if it doesn't want us here, it could mean that David and Murray is still in this property and he's looking out for his wife because his wife did die in this property. Like I said before, she did die of cancer and uh, a dying wish to, was to die in this house with David. So it could be that he could be protecting and doesn't want us there. So we have respected it and we've left. We've demanded him to stay. You all right? So what we'll do guys, we'll wrap this one up here. I'm sorry it was a short video. But when there's stuff like that happening, there's big bangs, door slamming, and it's affecting one of our team, we have to just get out of there because it's not worth my team member. He could get really badly affected, collapse, or something worse. We don't know. So what we'll do, guys, we'll wrap it up here. And it's goodbye from Pi. Paranormal. Whoa. Yo, 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 did you hear that bang in there, then? I just heard a bang in there again. I don't know if you've just heard that on the video, guys, but I will re look at that footage. I just heard a bang inside. Like I say, it's goodbye from Pi. Paranormal, investigation, explorers. Goodbye.